Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach! How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. I am back, back, back again to watch another Amberlynn Reed vlog. She just posted one today after skipping yesterday. She had been on a very consistent every other day thing, but it seems like she no longer has pre-recorded stuff ready to go. So I think we're in real time, besties. I think it is. Right now! <laughs> the time is now! And speaking of real time, just to give you a heads up on what my schedule for the rest of the week looks like, I'm reacting to this today, um, but I'm very aware that Destiny uploaded a 50 minute long video where she spilled more tea, allegedly tea. I, you, you all know how I feel, like I could go either way on like, if this is really tea, or like, should we be caring about it <laughs> all these years later, whoever, whatever. And I would like to cover it, but I just don't have the time to do that today specifically. Like, I have a limited amount of time that I can spend filming and editing for today's video. So I figured for today, we'll watch the video that Amberlynn uploaded this morning because it's literally a nine minute long video. Give you a little short video today. Tomorrow, I can potentially give you an update on the Destiny stuff and then Thursday and Friday I am traveling again I'm kind of in my traveling era and so I'm gonna try to get some videos together for those two days as well they just will be like some pre-recorded content uh, so I won't be able to update on any of the new things going on with all Amberlynn Reed or anybody else on the internet for that matter sound good Sound good, besties? Uh, I'm sorry that I'm just like living my best life, going places, <laughs> doing things. Uh, Mama needs a vacation, maybe two vacations at this point because that's what's happening. And Miss Mama over there is not excited <laughs> that I'm gonna be leaving her again. She does know, I've told her many times, I don't know why she's acting out on camera, but that's, that's what's up. So anyways, let's get into today's video, which is called Salmon Bowl, Medication I Take, and Breakthrough in Therapy Bar Vlog. One thing just based on the title that I do find interesting is that like, I don't know, is it just me or does she just like make the same things over and over and over <laughs> again? Like, which is fine. I'm very much a person that uh, eats the same thing over and over and over again whenever I cook. I just like what I like. Uh, I guess I'm curious about it because like one, do I really need to see it again? Maybe I do. Maybe something's different. But two, it's just like, it's curious to me how anything is all that different in her life when she's just making the same things that she's made throughout all periods of time in her life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like what has changed in terms of diet? But I don't want to like, let me just stop because I don't want to like micromanage what she's eating that much because she did talk about how like she gets nervous about sharing things. Oh my god, I'm gonna let Judy out. She's clearly not happy to be here. I guess that's a sign I just need to get to get to because, uh, yeah, what are we waiting for? Let, let's get to, let's get to. Okay, so I just got out of the shower Hi. and I swear. Showerland era is back already! I get such a satisfaction completing a full perfume. So this is a Kardashian perfume that okay. I've had. And I have officially finished it. That's the one I was gonna wear today. But since it's empty, we are actually gonna- You didn't already know that it was empty? I mean, I guess that could be the case. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I also am obsessed that like, you step out of the shower and your first thought is, let me stand here naked. Or at least I'm assuming she's naked because that, that pink dress shirt thing that she wears a lot is just sitting there. And I love that your thought is, let me let me record the perfumes <laughs> that are empty or that I'm about to put on my naked body. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna be using Blush by Kenneth Cole. Okay, work. So it is Monday, so every Monday, I take my little medicine guy here. Uh-huh. How many damn medicine pill containers does this girly have? Because I've not seen this one before, but we've seen her haul a whole bunch of them in the past. What the fuck? If you're bad at taking medicine like I am, get this from Amazon. Like, the weekly one worked okay, but I think having the numbers helped me a lot. 
literally just Amazon search monthly pill organizer. And this one is so nice. Like there's a um, morning and a night. So depending on when you take your medicine, I just take all mine at once. Um, so yeah, it's really, really freaking awesome. I love this so much. So I wanted to show these to you guys. I actually got them off of Amazon. If you guys take medicine. Um, and you have like a little pill container. These are like individual. These are Becky's. These are like individual Sunday. And then obviously Monday. Come out. And then you have Monday. And there's like two little pockets where you can do morning and night. Obviously Sunday through Saturday and they're rainbow. So if you have like an appointment somewhere you can, I mean you could put this in your purse. I mean it's not too big. Or if you're like a guy you don't have a purse. Or if you're a girl you could just take, oh I have a meeting on Tuesday. You can just take your little pocket on Tuesday. Super cute. I love it. I also got me one. And I will put my medicine in it. So I take, um, I was taking 25 grams of Zoloft and now I am going to start doing 50 grams. And okay. And then I take she, in case you can't read on what shows on my screen, she did correct. Like she had a little text thing over it that corrected it to say milligram. Take a vitamin D three one time every Thursday at fifty thousand IU. So okay. Thursday spots. A word. Isn't this so cute? Yeah, it definitely helps me remember to take my medicine. I guess it's cute, but like you have you've had other medicine little containers before. What happened to those is what I want to know. That's what I want to know. This girly always has some kind of contraption, new contraption that helps her out so 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 much. So we have my vitamin D in the Thursday, and I'm gonna put 50 milligrams of Zoloft in each one. Are we also though really getting a, a medicine organizer tutorial right now? <laughs> like, I think we mostly all understand how these things work. I don't know that I need to see you um, organize your, your pills, but okay, work. I guess, I guess this is probably somebody's cup of tea. Ooh, that ASMR. Okay. Uh, 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 oh. Sometimes. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, the ASMR. It was jumping out at you. Rarity has a mind of her own. Oh my God, okay, okay, Bastie. And she goes on top of the cabinets and she starts running back and forth. Okay, and work. she does this in the middle of the night, it scares the crap out of me. Okay, so <laughs> I just had my first meal. Um, I actually had some chorizo and eggs and it was so good so I good i remember ever making chorizo before but i did it and it turned out spectacular so i'm actually getting ready for my therapy appointment we have Lo love seeing the empty bowl would have loved to see like i don't know if we're, we're if we're giving constructive criticism on content would have loved to see it before you ate it <laughs> you know but I'll just I'll just take your word that it was so good. They're on the eighth or ninth one. Who knows at this point? So I had to write another paper. I've had to do a lot of outside things. Student uh, land for just like healing from trauma and stuff like that. So this one was seven pages long. So she's kind of long, and I know I'm gonna have to read it in my therapy appointment, which I am dreading. Also, seven pages does sound really long. Because, like, you know, I've, I have two degrees, famously. <laughs> um, but then I'm like, also, you're writing them all out by hand, which is maybe part of your process, and that's fine, but it probably wouldn't have been as long as if you had, like, typed them or whatever, you know? So, but yeah, seven pages, that's a long. Also, though, why are we not using front and back? Also a question I have. But also, journal Len, not one to ever be too concerned about, <laughs> about her use of paper. So maybe that's why. She does have plenty of notebooks and journals I'm sure that she can use. Because I don't, I just don't want to go there. But we're going to do it and we're going to do the work, folks, because that's what that's about. That's so what it is. Good enough for my appointment. Okay, you guys. So I just got out of my appointment and I want to say that this has a... <laughs> 
I'm always stumbling after my appointment. <laughs> Hold on. This one goes. And this goes back again to what I said the last time she had a therapy appointment, is that, like, you don't have to film immediately after your therapy appointment to share with us what happened in your therapy appointment, right? Like, if you know you're going to be tongue-tied, you could just also film that later. <laughs> you really could. And actually, I feel like if you waited a little bit, you might have time to, like, really, truly, like, process the things that happened a little bit more potentially, but you know, also it's fine. But you know, if you if you want to avoid stumbling over your words because you know you just got done talking for an hour, it's always okay to wait. We would actually have probably also no idea. We really wouldn't. To be one of my most favorite appointments because I had a complete breakthrough. Okay. It was so I always hear about like these breakthroughs and therapy, and I'm like. Girl, what do you mean? I was in the middle of reading this, and I have not cried over this paper in a while. Um, over Weren't you just crying over a paper? I <laughs> like, wasn't that just the thing that just happened? I'm confused. I, although, I'm... I'm also confused, and I think other people are confused, too, because I've seen people asking questions about it in her Instagram Q&As as well. But I, I don't think she's doing a good job of differentiating, like, what paper is for what, what the papers are about. I'm guessing she, like, she is writing several different things. Like, she did say that she had to write another paper. Maybe she is specifically just talking about this paper, but then, of course, you probably haven't cried yet during this paper because you just wrote it. So what do you, what, I like, again, I don't know. Like, I don't know that I understand. Yeah, of course, like, you're probably not gonna cry over it until you, like, break it down and process it in therapy, but whatever. As long as you're growing, that's, like, what matters, bestie. For the events, um, because I was kind of getting, like, desensitized to it and um, all of that. So Oh, the event. I, oh, okay, okay. So you're talking about you haven't cried while writing about this event in a while. Okay, well, then I go back to what I originally said, which is didn't you just talk about crying about that in, in a video about a therapy appointment? Although no, she was saying that she was that she was numb to it in the last video, maybe. Girl, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all know Miss Amber Lynn, the way she talks about these things is just like confusing. As long as she's making a breakthrough, which also every time she was saying breakthrough, all I could think of was Break Free by Ariana Grande. This is the part where I say I don't want ya. I'm stronger than I've been before. This is the part where I break free. Cause I can't resist it no more. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> Nobody signed up for an Ariana Grande concert from Zachary Michael today, so my apologies. It had a complete, like, breakdown. I just started crying because this story to me feels like such a metaphor for also, like, everything that I went through but it's like an actual thing that happened to me. And I don't know, it was just like a complete breakthrough. Miss um, Amber Lynn Reed loves a metaphor, uh, but also of, of course it's representative of what you went through because it's what you went through. <laughs> Bestie, that's not a metaphor at all. <laughs> like that, that is, it is a story about what you went through. Um, we talked a lot about it and more about suck points. I have to do like this whole worksheet this week. Uh, before I see him next week, and I don't know, like, that breakthrough, like... What was the breakthrough, though? I feel lighter. Specifically. Wow. I don't know. Was it crying? Was the breakthrough crying about it? I kind of love it. Like, I know therapy is different for everyone. True. I've done so much therapy, and it has never been, like, this hard and this, like... Let's talk about the hard stuff, the stuff from the past. Okay, I, I just want to say again, I pointed this out in a, in a video <laughs> previously, uh, but when she was with, when she was with the, the therapist that was through the outpatient program, uh, the therapist who she said believed in health at every size and she didn't believe in health at every size, when she was working with that therapist, she said the same thing, just to be clear. Well, there's two types of therapies. 
There is evidence-based and support-based and nine out of 10 people actually are just doing support therapy, which is like, how's your day? Let's talk about it. What's going on in your life? Let's talk about it. Then there's evidence-based, which I've never done. I've always done support. Hate it. Evidence-based is like, here's your diagnosis. Let's work on that. Let's figure out the depths. Let's heal you from this shit. I'm just like, Oh my God. So I'm finally like seeing, oh my God, I should, I just literally am so shook, shook to the core. I should have done this sooner. But she said that she was like doing deep work and that the, the work she was doing was hard and she, she had not felt like that before. So I just want to point out that like Amberlynn has said in the past that she did feel this way before, just so we're clear. I kind of believe it a little bit more right now than I did back then because I didn't really believe she was really doing a whole lot of work back then. Uh, I didn't really believe that that therapist was probably effective because she was always talking at the same time about how much she disagreed with that therapist. So I'm like, how helpful can that work be? Whereas like now it seems like she actually feels like this. Like it seems like she agrees with the work that she's doing with her therapist, which I think is a big difference. But I do want to say that in the past, she did try to convince us that she was doing, like, deep work and therapy. The stuff that is truly, truly, like, inside of you, making your day-to-day -day life hard. Like, uh -huh. the real deep stuff that you don't talk about. Because usually it's very, like, surface level. And it's not surface level with this. And yeah, yeah just, this, is, this is a Love little it. deja vu moment. Scheduled, and we're just doing the damn thing. I... Uh, Cause I had so many therapists to choose from. Um, they're actually all psychologists that um, I got to choose from. Uh -huh. And something drew me to this person. Called them up and I said, "Let's schedule that appointment." So I, don't know, <laughs> I just feel like the universe is she, definitely directing me. Oh yeah, it. it was all cosmic, and it wasn't and didn't have anything to do with you being suggested a, a list of qualified individuals for you to pick from. I'm sure you could have had this same experience with other people, too. I mean, I'm glad that you found somebody who's a good fit. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's very hard to find a therapist that is a good fit for you. I can speak from my own experience on that. But, like, bestie, of, of course the people on the list that the, the weight loss clinic gave you are going to be well qualified to help you with your problems. In the right area, and I am just... In for the ride, you know, but I still have to. <laughs> Why did it stop? look like she was she was on that scooter that that Destiny said that she scooted away from her on? The way she held her hands up, it was like she was riding her little scooter in the Walmart, getting mad at Destiny for calling her pokey. Brake, gas, steer, gas. Um, oh, I am in for the ride, and <laughs> as much as the universe is in but charge, she was talking about farts. I'm also in charge, and I just feel I don't know. I just feel really good after this appointment. Guess what I'm about to make? Uh, well, I'm about to make... Based, based on the title of the video, a salmon bowl. A salmon bowl with some salmon that I'm going to cook in a pan, which I've never done before. I usually use the oven. Okay. But I wanted to switch it up. Work. I'm just cleaning a little bit, see? So I'm excited. Hi, Twink! To try it. <laughs> Hi, Twink! Hi, gay Twink! <laughs> I love when she calls him twink because, like, in the gay community, a twink is a, a, a very specific thing. If if you know, you know. Here, I'm just afraid I'm gonna burn. I it. think most people know, just to be clear. And burn the apartment down. Let's hope not. We're gonna have broccoli. I am going to pickle some red onion, carrots, okay, and cucumber. Okay, pickle queen. I'm excited. We haven't had like a salmon bowl in forever. Um, Feline uses smoked salmon. Okay. Where is she? Oh, she's right I here. I don't know why. She uses this stuff. Also though, why do I care? Just show me what you're eating. Feline isn't even gonna be on camera eating this shit, so why do I care? I like my stuff nice and warm. So warm. that's what she'll be using. So to pickle it, it's just like a quick pickle. It's not something that's gonna like. Ooh. Be <laughs> what do you know about a quick pickle? What do you know about a quick pickle, bestie? Forever, like 
in the fridge. It's just like, pickle it for 15 minutes. I promise it's so good. So it's going to be with this rice vinegar. Listen, and then I, I love a quick pickle, so I might, I might take you up on this. I put some sesame seeds as well. So we have a little bit of oil. I added some garlic on top and some pepper. Okay. That's literally all I need. This is this is an improvement over the the layer of 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 garlic powder and garlic salt that she put on it. Or was it onion powder? It was onion powder. The last time I remember watching her make salmon. You know the infamous is she putting Pam on that? You know that video? Um, yeah, this looks a lot better. It looks more reasonably seasoned. And then I'm just gonna add a little Also though, I hate and, like, salmon. Alrighty, so I'm about to turn this over. Ooh. Ooh. It smells okay. Oh. I don't know. I also famously don't know how to cook salmon, so I don't know if she's doing a good or a bad job here. You'll have to let me know in the comments. She's cooking. So I got the rice going. Oh, okay. I'm in the middle of cutting up the cucumber, and then I'm gonna cut up the broccoli. So I am very proud of my salmon, but okay. since it is gonna be like a salmon bowl, I do want to. <laughs> since it is gonna be a salmon bowl, let me murder this further. Let me murder this salmon further and cut it up in a bunch of, of chunks. Yes, let's go. Break it up. You're doing a great job. Guys, I actually, I know this is like so stupid to some people, they're like, okay, but I actually use the pan. I just feel like uh, for safeties, and that's why I always use the oven for salmon, but. <laughs> oh my think. God. I don't, I feel like maybe this isn't what salmon's supposed to look like. Again, I don't cook salmon. I don't like a lot of seafood, to be honest with you. I don't cook salmon, and I don't know if this is the vibe, but, but it looks like this poor salmon has been put through the ringer, and she looks like she has been through it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, poor salmon. Also, I'm so proud of Amberlynn for using a pan to cook salmon. Ah, big girl points awarded to Amberlynn Reed today. All right, so oh, here that is doesn't look my that bad. Bowl that actually looks like more colorful and appetizing than most of the things I've seen Amberlynn Reed make <laughs> in general. Although I am, I do still have questions about the salmon. I really, truly do. And this is all very low calorie things. Uh huh. So it is a lot of food for not a lot of calories. I will say the most calories come from the serving of peanuts. Well, yeah. it's half a serving, but. Well, uh, the, the peanuts are, yeah, are usually pretty high calorie. Nuts in general are high calorie. What do you know about a high calorie nut? Um, peanuts are a little bit high in calories, but I wanted a little bit of a crunch. But look how delicious crunch. this looks. The sauce on top, I am just trying a serving of this Sriracha Mayo Dynamite hot sauce. So I'm going to go eat this. And I was going to say I'm going to go watch Yellow Jackets, but I've officially caught up. You guys need to watch that show. It is Don't crazy. tell me what I need to watch. Oh, more dishes. She's, she's doing more dishes. She loves doing dishes. But we don't get a, a voiceover or anything. We just have to watch her sped up on, like, two times speed. Okay, content. Okay, content creator. <laughs> yes, work. This really is it. Okay, you guys, so... That, that, wait, that really was... That was it. That was all. Now what are we doing? What are we doing with these beads? These, these, um... What are these? Laundry beads. I don't know. I don't use them, but I know people do love them. They're like fragrance scent beads or something you add to your laundry. What are we, we got a bowl and we got the container that she stores them in. I'm curious. Did some dishes, now I'm doing some laundry and this is getting dwindly. Dwindly. So you take the leftovers 
Oh, just... she, she's rotating her stock. She's rotating her stock, which I don't think she's done in the past, because I remember at one time asking, like, you're just continuously putting the new on top of the old, like you're never going to use the old. But now she learned about rotating your stock, rotating your inventory. They're like scent booster beads, so you have to refill them. Okay. And obviously the leftovers go on top. So you can use the I also go on top. I listen, I <laughs> listen. I don't know. I, I know I always make comments about all of that stuff, but I guess that's how we're transforming the content today is we're really making everything a sexual joke. So my apologies to the people who don't love that Zachary Mike uh content as much, but that's that's the name of the game today, I guess, because that's all that's come into my mind. Use the new but I just use a little bit of this stuff in each one of my loads of laundry. It literally makes my clothing smell so freaking good. So good. And then I put the lid back on. Wow. Put the bowl in the sink. Well, there you go. He's going to trash. I, I am a little uncomfy with like the mixing of the scents. <laughs> Like, like, I feel like that would uh, be frustrating to me specifically. It's obviously not to her. But, like, the mixing of the scents is a lot, which is why I would probably just keep them in the original containers so I could use whatever scent I was feeling like that day. And then this guy goes back where he belongs. You guys are currently sitting on top of my load of laundry. Okay. Well, there you go. Oh, she, I'm just now also putting together that she definitely was naked earlier because this is the dress that was sitting on the, like, sink counter. So she definitely was naked when she got out of the shower earlier and was like, I have to immediately show you the perfume I finished completely. <laughs> Okay, so I feel justified in saying, isn't it kind of weird to immediately get out of the shower while you're butt naked and be like, let me film these empty perfume bottles for y'all? So, there it is. Okay. And then I just use Gain for my laundry soap. Work. All right, you guys, so it is the end of the night. I actually just filmed a video, so you guys will be seeing that soon. Pretty sure you'll see this it's one first. Um, sorry this is a short one, some videos will it's be shorter. Okay. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Bye, bestie. I'm guessing maybe the one that she like already or just finished filming or whatever is probably either like a, well, it's probably just a PO unboxing. I don't think she made any posts on Instagram like asking for voice memos or things like that. So you're probably going to get a P.O. unboxing while I'm away on my next vacation. So enjoy that because I don't really cover those anyways. Um, but if anything, I guess, interesting really happens during one of those things, um, I'll give you an update if, if applicable. So anyways, I think that's all I have time for today. Not I think I know that's all I have time for today. Make sure to come back the rest of the week because I do have all kinds of videos planned, including catching you up on the Destiny tea that she spilled um, tomorrow and followed by just fun, quirky things the rest of the week. I'm repeating myself, so let me just go. Let me just get to, get to it the rest of my day. I love you all so, so much. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I had so much fun today. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!